Hi there guys, uh, just a quickie update on where I'm at with, uh, you know, trying to sort out some uh, finished knives. Um, I've, uh, this is a quick vid on the uh, fitting the liners to the handle scales. So basically what I've done is once the wood had been um, stabilised in uh, my uh, stabilising equipment here and baked, um, then what I did was I used the linisher just to uh, clean off a couple of the sides um, to get a nice uh, straight finish to work on. Um, I then um, cleaned the timbers down as flat as I could get with what I've got here is a glass plate and with um, basically some coarse grit fastened onto it. That allowed me to get the um, to get the scales as flat as I possibly could. Um, from there I then cut the uh, the liner materials, I use a mixture of fibre liners and G10. Um, to size, I've uh, mixed up my two part epoxy. Um, the one I tend to use is, is the ones that come in the little tubes like this, simply because it makes it very simple to make sure you're getting the right quantities out each time. And because I do um, so little really, buying the bigger quantities is you know very expensive and then a bit more hit and miss for me. So that's uh, the sort of like preference I have at the moment. We'll see about that going forward. What I do, however, is when I've actually mixed the resin, I leave a little bit in the pot there, and then that just lets me know that uh, when I check it, that the resin's gone off properly, um, you know, because it's the same batch I've used. What I've got here is some of the wood, like I say, that I've stabilised. I've got, and um, there's Kauri, uh, Rimu, and uh, Matai. Uh, so they're all on there. They'll now stay there for 24 hours. It's the slow setting, um, high strength epoxy that I use, both for fitting the liners and then also for fitting the the scales then onto the handles of the knives um, so that's basically the process that I go through um, again it's, it's just one of the things is making sure everything's kept really clean the liners you don't just stick the liners to the uh, scales actually rub the liners and key the liners in as well take all the shine off them get them clean try not to handle them with your fingers I tend to put rubber gloves on well, I do put rubber gloves on and then I use that to then when I wear those to make sure everything's clean as possible all the dust is off the liners from rubbing them down and the dust is off the uh, scales again from rubbing them flat and getting them as flat as I can and uh, that's probably about the best way I found is finishing by hand on the uh, on the glass plate so these will now hopefully about another 24 hours these will be ready then for starting to look at finishing on to actually fitting onto some knives so when I get a bit of that done I'll bring you back then um, I haven't really got any other tips about that other than like I say leaving the pot out keeping everything as clean as you really can try not to get finger marks on the liners and really getting them as flat as you possibly can you've got to get the scales as flat as you can which is why I don't just rely on the linisher it, it's never it is never as good as going out the glass plate and uh, when I've fastened them on here this is actually a block of granite it's a granite block it's um, one that I've uh, stole off the wife she uses she's got she found a couple I think somewhere pretty cheap uses one in the kitchen this gives me somewhere really flat to make sure these are pushing on here I like these clamps I have used um, the standard screw down clamp screw down clamps they're quite difficult to get a really good finish so the two techniques I use are these and I found that I get a really good squeeze on them you know it continues to push the resin out till you get a really good seal all the way outside because it's spring operated so it's not just reliant on the grip um, I actually ran out of space because I've not done this many before and I put a set in the vise which was a, the old way I used to do it and again just nip that as tight as I possibly can obviously you've noticed I'm using plastic all around if you don't the resin gets everywhere sticks fast and you're stuck all well, the scales are anyway um, yep so that's where I'm ready for that so like I can say ready to uh, start looking at cleaning a few things up and uh, I'll do another quickie then okay guys I hope you thought was uh, a little bit interesting if a little bit quick Okay, so I hope you had an awesome day. It's dark outside, nearly nearly winer time. And uh, have a great time. Get out there doing it. Awesome. <laughs>